Lou Almighty with the Boxing Club Podcast. Yo, public service announcement. I've gotten a couple messages and a couple of comments uh, talking about, hey, you guys should ask more um, technical questions. You guys don't ask enough technical questions to these fighters for the fight. We don't do that. You know, we don't. We we didn't sign up to do this to be reporters. We're not reporters. You know, we're we're not out here trying to get the gossip, and you know, we're not trying to be first with the you know with the announcements and the gossip. We don't do that. We don't get involved. You know, as as the the whole chunk of boxing media reporters, the top guys, uh, fight hype. You know, shout out. Uh, my guy, uh, Marcos Villegas, Fight Hub, uh, you know, you got, uh, you know, Ali and all those guys, all those, all those big dudes asking those technical questions, getting top billing, top pick. We got them for that. Everybody else in the middle, which is a big chunk, you know, the other 80% of dudes will hop, you know, wiggle their way and hop in front of the fighter to ask them the same damn question as everybody else that already asked. They're just piggybacking. You got a fight coming up on the 19th. Are you ready? No, motherfucker, he's not ready. He's a professional fighter. He's a professional athlete. He's not ready. He's just showing up to the 19th to show up. Dude, of course they're ready, you know? How do you feel? They're weight drained. It's 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 media week. How do you think he feels? He's starving to death. These questions, we don't ask those questions. So we're not hopping in there trying to get with the 80% asking the same rhetorical, same recycled questions. We're not doing none of that. And the ones for the top that, that have already gotten their first, like Fight Hype and all those guys and Marcos, those guys ask the type of questions because they're good at it and they're respected and they respect the fighters and they, they've done their homework. And we try to piggyback off anything that they have might have missed or things that we find interesting as fans because we're not boxing. We're not trying to be boxing gurus. We're, we're just literally boxing fans that happen to know a lot of fighters, that happen to know a lot of promoters, a lot of people within the 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 box, uh, business side of boxing. So when you see us in there being goofballs, because we are goofballs, we're not trying to be professional technical reporters. We're not reporters. And I think uh, it might have been Shakur Stevenson recently said it said it first. These fighters, or he recently said something about it. These fighters, you know, they shine they shine you guys off. They shine a lot of the eighty percent of that media, and, and the the top twenty percent, they're they're doing it because it's the exposure, it's part of the uh, you know media that they have to do. But they're shady, man. A lot of these reporters are shady. They just they want to ask you these questions as as like a like like as a bait and switch, kind of like a trap question to get you to say something about the other guy, or they'll title shit that that's not really the the core of the question or core of the topic, just to get clicks. You know, these guys clickbait, and I get it. It's your channel. It's probably how you get paid. You need to do whatever you need to do to get the, you know, the click traffic. Great. Good for you. But that's not us. We're not in there to do that. We're not in there to stir up drama. We're not messy. We do have our, our you know, our picks and stuff because we're fans. So we do have people we really, really support, you know, um, whether they, they lose or they win or they draw, we're, we're still there. And that's what it is. So when we get these comments asking why we don't touch on that we, we don't we don't touch on the drama we don't touch on who said what and he said this and he, nah if I ask a question because I personally want to know I turn off the camera you know a lot of fighters get contested this and I ask I ask because it's respectful and I keep it to myself I, I, I don't want to be biased and I don't want to put that comment out in the media behind their back we don't do none of that that's why we got great relationships with a lot of these promoters a lot of these fighters, you know, a lot of these fighters, they, they text us outside of, uh, you know, the media stuff. And, um, you know, we're in the back with these dudes because we're not messy. So we keep it that way. Um, to answer the comments and the questions of why we don't do that, that's exactly why. Because we are fans first that just happen to have a camera in there. We, we want to let, um, we want to let the casual fan know what's going on. Look at our content. A lot, most of the guys have less than 10 fights, are not champions. They're working their way up. Those guys need exposure too, and that's why we do it. We, we're giving everyone light. You know what I'm saying? Um, we give everyone shine. You know, they happen to get big, 
and they, that's why they still talk to us. They still come around, you know, like the Vargas brothers, you know, Matias Radcliffe and, um, you know, Morenito. You know, he's big time now, and he's still, he still shakes hands, and he still comes around. I mean, he, camera or no camera, you know, he still gives his dab. So, and that's why, because we were talking to all these dudes before they were, you know, huge, before they had a buzz, you know, Lawrence King. Um, so we keep the same tone, like, you know, Regis Progre says, keep the same energy, man. Um, but we're not, we don't look, in, we, we're not looking into 2024 to be, you know, reporters and, and boxing gurus because just we're, we're just not that. We're going to keep being, you know, goofy and cool and we're not messy and we're going to keep it that way. Uh, so when we ask questions like, you know, perfect example, you know, our guy, uh, Eric Priest, we've been we've been holding down for Eric Priest for you know a long time um, you know, during COVID. Fourth, fifth fight, you know, uh, we, we messaged him and told him we, we, we are seeing him cut from a different cloth and he should be signed and have big contracts in no time before he was signed to Golden Boy. So when we ask him questions like, you know, goofball questions like you still model for, you know, an underwear model for Adidas or something, it's not literal, you know, it's a, it's a joke because he happened to have a, a modeling contract at the time uh, or at one point and he had a deal with Adidas. We all know he's a, you know, he's a beast. He's a, he's a boxer first. He just happened to be a, a good-looking, marketable guy that, had, that got a modeling contract. And he's doing everything he can do with his, you know, within his, uh, within his grasp in life. He's taking advantage of things he can take advantage of. So, you know, it wasn't literal. You know, it's a joke because that's we're just goofballs like that. Everyone already asked the literal questions, the dissecting questions. Some even asked the trap questions, uh, bait and switch questions. We don't do none of that. So, um, you know, again. That's just to answer the questions for, for those comments. Um, you know, if you don't like it, you know, tune in to Fight Hype. Tune in to Fight Hub. You know, Mike, Marcos Villegas is great with those questions. You know, follow him, and he's going to ask the, th those questions that you want to ask. The other 80%, you know, I can't really name names. Um, they're going to ask those, you know, rhetorical, open-ended or, or closed-ended questions that just have no point. They're just there to be there to get clicks. And, um, you know, if you like what we're doing... You know, keep following. We're going to keep doing the podcast, getting in depth and asking questions that a fan would ask because that's what we are. We're fans. And we're going to keep bringing light and exposure that uh, what we can do to these guys on their rise up, on, on the grind because they're grinding. They're the ones um, you know, starving and, and not doing the, the Thanksgiving feasts because they're in camp making weight. they got to stay in shape. So that, that, those are the type of dudes we're putting on. And, you know, we got Scrappy Ramirez on there as well. He's, you know, big. And Eric Priest on there. He's big. And, you know, Larry Wade, and he's big. Um, we got a couple big names coming up in 2024 this, this next year. So stay tuned for that. But we'll get everybody's on, man. We're getting everybody who's willing to give us time. We're giving everybody shine. So um, stay tuned. Let us know any other questions that I can answer. Sorry, I got a little a, a little in depth about it. You know, it was just a little public service service announcement. Um, anyway, stay tuned for the next one. Twenty twenty four is going to be big. That I promise you. Do Almighty, out chip.